Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm tackling my fair collection. I already did my wardrobe declutter and that went fairly well. It was kind of painful to do, but now that it's over, I just feel a hundred times better. So I am newly motivated to tackle my bags. I do have a lot. I don't know exactly how many, I've never really counted, but I suspect it's over 40. So I wanna take everything out and basically see what I can get rid of. I do have some other bags on my wish list as well. So I really just need to make some space and there are just a lot of bags which I like but I don't love so that is what I'm going to try and sort out today. I think what I'm going to try and do is take all my bags from their respective places and then pop them on the floor and divide them into piles. So I think I'm going to do the pile of bags which I know I'm going to keep, the pile of bags which I'm ready to say goodbye to and then also the bags which I'm probably going to debate over. So hopefully this goes well and let's get started. a lot of handbags i haven't counted them yet but i'm gonna suspect it's more than 40. i'm gonna count them up now but it's a lot goodness me okay so as you can see i have laid out all of my bags it's a lot uh, so I'm gonna count them up in a second I suspect I'm gonna be horrified um, but before I do that I remembered I was supposed to give away this video so that is what I'm doing um, this one I think is probably the biggest giveaway I have ever done um, it's off the back of you guys loving a handbag that I showed on my channel recently I'm really excited because have I ever given away anything this big I don't think so um, so it's from Saint Laurent and it is kind of a bag um, but dust bag upside down you watch my channel a lot you may recognize it but oh, it is my Saint Laurent wristlet and I don't want to take off the tissue paper but I'm going to show you my one so this is my one I love it to bits so it's a really really beautiful clutch you do have the wristlet I've also been looping around a chain and using it as a crossbody well not using it but styling it as a crossbody I've not been out obviously um, but it's great it's so classic and gorgeous it has the grain leather the gold hardware and I just think this is beautiful and so many of you seem to really love it as well so I decided to get one for a giveaway prize which I am so so excited about so for a chance to win this beautiful bag you do have to enter both on YouTube and Instagram it is a joint YouTube and Instagram giveaway so the first thing you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel so if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then go ahead and leave a comment down below saying that you would like to enter and also leave your Instagram username so I can check that you have entered in both places if you do end up winning and then I will have a giveaway photo live on my Instagram and I will leave the direct link to that in the description section head on over to my Instagram you need to follow me there as well like the photo that is the giveaway photo and then comment in the comment section tagging two friends that you think would like my channel so to recap, one, you have to be subscribed to me on YouTube. Comment down below saying that you'd like to enter and leave your Instagram username, and then head on over to Instagram, follow me there, like the giveaway photo, and then tag two of your friends that you think might like my channel. And that is it. The giveaway is open for a total of four weeks. It is open internationally as well, so absolutely anyone can enter. I will leave all the details that you might need to know in the description section, just in case you want to check any rules or anything like that. I will announce the giveaway on my Instagram stories, on the Instagram photo, as well as updating the description section on this video as well. So if you wanna find out who won in four weeks time, then go ahead and check back here or check on my Instagram. So good luck to those of you who are entering. Thank you so much to everyone who has followed me so far. It's like really the least I can do because you guys are always so great and supportive and I'm just very, very appreciative and I love you guys so much. Holy cow, you guys, I have 78 handbags. That is actually insane. I did not realize I had so many. Wow, okay. Um, 
I had to separate them out. These aren't in any particular order, but I couldn't count them. Otherwise I kept losing count. So I put them into individual piles and it came out to be 78 handbags. Oh crumbs, I just saw another one. Okay, 79 handbags. Now that I saw that sneaky one in the corner, too many, way, way too many. Um, I'm gonna try and cut it down to below 50. I kind of thought I had around 50 if I was being honest. That was my higher number. Um, at the very least, I wanna get rid of 20 bags, I'd say. So I'm gonna start by putting them into piles I know that I'm gonna keep. And then I'm going to focus on bags, which I know I can get rid of, and then do my main bees. And then figure out what's left and what can kind of go in each pile. That's the plan. Watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. Okay, so I have separated the bags into piles. You may have gathered that. The rather large pile over here is um, all the bags that I want to keep. So I don't feel like I've done that well. Um, but these are all the bags that I love and can still see me using. And then I have over here the bags which I think I'm ready to part ways with. And then over here is the maybe pile. So in the I'm ready to part ways with pile, I have one, two, three, four. I have 13 bags in that pile. Um, which could be better, I guess, in the maybe pile, but this is very much a maybe pile. I have another 13. So even though, even if I get rid of all of the maybe pile, which I'm not really thinking I'm gonna do, that's still only 26. But I guess it's over the 20 that I thought. Um, I did really wanna get down to below 50 though, if I could. Okay, I may have to go through another review round of the bags I want to keep and try and get two more or maybe like four more into the maybe pile. Okay so I am kind of struggling to get down to 50 um, even just like get down to 50 with like a maybe pile that's not even like the nose and I know this is not this is like the most first world of first world problems like I do understand that. This is the newly increased maybe pile. Um, I definitely don't want to get rid of all of these because I like them um, but I think this is a good starting point to try and call down. I'm happy with the ones I've decided that I'm already parting ways with but I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do, which ones I'm gonna say goodbye to and which ones I'm gonna save from this maybe pile. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna talk this through. Ulla Johnson's, I feel like maybe I can keep one of these. They are very similar, so like that's fine to get rid of one. Um, I feel like I'm more drawn to this one. This is really cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna do I think I'm going to part ways with this one. This one I put in the maybe pile just because I know my mum really likes it. And so I feel like that could be a good solution to this. I do like it, but I don't really reach for it. Um, and she's not really like, my mum isn't super into luxury bags at all, but she'll have to like borrow them for me because obviously I have plenty. Um, so I think I might just give this one to her and that's just a good solution for my Lily. It's so cute. Like it's the perfect just kind of, summer day out in the city bag but she will get you more use out of it than me so i put this in here i'm uh, sorry this being my Givenchy antigona i put this one in here because i haven't really used it since i got my small antigona and i just prefer that size um and i got it in the mock croc and i love it to bits 
Um, and so I I just didn't think I would be without a medium and go I feel like it's such a classic bag but if I don't use it it needs to go because I have plenty of bags which I do love and use so if it doesn't get use gone apart ways and to go now. okay this one is also in the no pile which is growing nicely I think so this is the current state of my no pile it is growing in size I'm feeling quite good about this still not as large as it should be but we're getting there okay my long champ I was keeping hold of this um I feel like I have another long champ somewhere but honestly I haven't seen it in ages so maybe my mum took that one um but I I kept hold of this one because it was a beautiful limited edition which I just think is so cute like look at that it has the bird print all over it I'm doubting myself because I do really like it a long champ is such a great bag like it's just so cute Okay, no, hard decisions need to be made. Maybe I should go by like the, the one year rule. So like if you haven't used it in a year, then that's just a no brainer. Cause that's kind of what I think about with clothes. Like there are exceptions like special occasion dresses and things like that. But generally if I haven't used it in a year, it's got to go. And I feel like if I'm gonna do that, then this one is a no brainer. Um, this one I love, this is my Saint Laurent mock rock pouch. But I'm just wondering with my kind of new pouch purchase which is right here Ooh. like they're quite similar and I have a lot of Saint Laurent I love Saint Laurent but at this point I just kind of need to get rid of all my dupes and this one I feel like it's just going to last me a little bit longer and in terms of wristlets they're kind of the same thing I generally prefer gold hardware anyway but again be strict okay all right, so all of my Gucci's made it into the maybe part, but I'm already thinking that this one can't go. I still do reach for this. I've definitely worn this in the last year. I reach for it a lot. It's just a really nice neutral. I don't use my Marmot anymore. I can't remember the last time I did use it. And out of the two, like which one would I rather keep? This is more of a kind of like Amy bag, but on the other hand, diversification okay so these two are not really similar at all but they're more occasional use bags I guess my Celine Nano I didn't use in the last year I know I didn't but oh, I love this bag so much and I do think it's a classic um, it just ticks a lot of boxes and oh I love it this one does kind of annoy me a bit in terms of the closure and then also the lack of feet and the fact that it does topple over. I definitely have more bug bears with this one than I do my Celine. But if I had to pick, I do think I prefer my Celine Nano. What do you guys think? Are you making a bad decision? I'm inching towards the Nano. Okay, I'm gonna do a final review anyway. So let's put this my crosshair in the no pile, which brings me back to my Gucci question. I can't imagine parting away from my Dionysus even though I feel like I've loved my Montmartre bag more. And so I'm leaning towards keeping my Dionysus and getting rid of my Gucci. Is that a terrible decision? I think it could be. I'm gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna pop my Dionysus over here and then recount to see my situation in my staying pile and then count how, ma how many I have here. All right, I have counted up and my total for my parting ways of bags is 27. So I have 27 bags in this pile. And then if I span around, then I have 52 bags left that I'm keeping. So, I mean, it's not the most amazing accomplishment in the world, but 27 bags that I'm getting rid of. I don't feel like is that bad. I could probably do with another cull, but I think I maybe just need to sit on it. I am also going to get rid of some shoes as well, um, which doesn't make it quite as bad. Okay, so I think I'm kind of happy. I've got 52 bags that are staying. I have 27, I think, bags that I think are going unless I chicken out. Um, could be better. Can, can't really be worse but um 
I think I'm gonna pop all my bags um, that I'm keeping away and then I'm gonna quickly go over the bags that I'm selling because I know I always get questions and most of these you'll probably know but I'll just kind of zip through them. Okay, so all of the bags are back in their places. I have um, a little bit more room to maneuver with now, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, I even had to like plug some holes and some shelves and like move things around. Uh, so I thought I would quickly go over some of the bags which I haven't already talked about. Um, I won't bore you guys with everything because I feel like I did kind of talk through my process, um, but I'm just gonna pick them up and explain kind of quickly why I am parting ways with them. Prada bucket bag this won't come as a surprise to any of you who watch my videos regularly but too big for me um, for this kind of usage beautiful summer bag but I just wish it was in a smaller size so that was an easy one and one that I knew I was really gonna get rid of Pauline bag really cute great brand um, I think that they do beautiful bags but this style just wasn't for me um, I do want to try other styles from them but this one is just not functional enough to get a lot of use from me personally so this one is in the no pile. My Saint Laurent Velvet, I love this bag, but I wanna get a leather version of it. Um, I think the Toy Lulu is the cutest style. I think it's so, so great, but um, I don't get enough use out of it because it is velvet. I mentioned before that I love my Sunset Velvet bag, but I feel like I only really have room for kind of one really love velvet bag in my collection and the rest, I just don't feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of already sold my Gucci Marmont Velvet style and now I'm going to part ways with this one in order to make room for a leather one. My Gucci Soho Disco, um, this one was actually my last bag sale um, but the buyer unfortunately had to back out and I just didn't really kind of relist it at that time so this one I knew I was going to part ways with, um, it's a beautiful style but I don't know, I just kind of stopped reaching for it. It had a good life for sure, um, but yeah, just one that even though I love, I feel like at this point I have other bags that I love a little bit more. My Prada bag, I do like this and I, oh, it's so, so cute. I think it's adorable. Um, you see why I end up with so many bags, because every time I think I'm gonna sell one, I'm like, oh, but it's so cute, and, and I just end up with like 78 bags was it or something crazy like that um this one i love but i haven't been overwhelmed with the wear and tear and um i know again it's just not one that i reach for and i have many other kind of mini pink bags i have a lot of them so i certainly wouldn't want to give up one of those to keep this and i gotta get rid of some so love but ain't necessary cut Mansa Gabrielle circle bag. I've documented my issues with this. I've just not really been overwhelmed with it. And to be honest, even if I didn't have that kind of one zip issue, um, I just don't feel like this is the kind of bag, like this is the kind of thing I see on Instagram and I'm like, yes, I want it. And then in practical life, I'm just like, when am I gonna use this? Like really going to brunch like this just, this isn't a very kind of functional bag just for my daily life. Um, and I feel like I'm finally beginning to realize that this kind of structured small bag, which looks great on Instagram, isn't necessarily that great for my life. Crossette, this is the one I'm really, really unsure about. I feel like this is still kind of in the maybe part, but I love it. And the only reason it's here is because I just have, I do have bug beds with it. So yeah, TBC. Saint Laurent camera bag. Um, I have a lot of white Saint Laurent styles, uh, which I do prefer more than this. I like it, but it's a bit small. And to be honest, I do wonder if I just don't actually love the camera bag style that much. Uh, I used to really like it, but now I just, I think the thing with the camera bag is that it's actually very, very good as a multi-purpose bag. So if you don't have many bags in your collection, it's actually a really good choice because it can kind of do it all, especially this one that has like a chain and then a strap. But I have a load of bags in my collection and so I have bags for every single kind of small use. So if I want an evening bag, I'll go for a certain type of bag. If I want a crossbody, if I want a daytime and running bag, you know, I have all of those slots filled. Um, whereas this one I think is good if you do need something to do it all, but less good at kind of individual things, if that makes any sense. So um, I love it, but yeah, I just wonder if camera bags aren't really for me anymore. Um, and then the only other one that I'm kind of unsure about is my Gucci Marmont. I actually think I'm probably more unsure about my cross set bag though, just because I feel like if I've 
gotten a lot of use out of it and if I got my money's worth I'm always really big on getting my money's worth then I'm actually happy to kind of let it go because I feel like it's lived a good life that's fine the only thing making me pause here is that I do have so many good memories with it um but I don't feel like I fully have gotten my money's worth with this bag like I use it but I don't use it tons which is kind of my hesitancy um but that was kind of a really quick overview of what I'm selling and why. I'm gonna noodle on it, as my old boss used to say, <laughs> um, overnight and possibly for the next few days, but I think it came to 27 bags or something like that in total, which I don't think is too bad. Um, I could have done better, but I will probably revisit this task in future. So yeah, I'm probably gonna wrap it up there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that if you need to declutter your bag collection, it's probably not as bad as mine, but if you do, then hopefully this will give you some kind of inspiration. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.